Is it wrong for foreigners to marry Filipinos? The funny thing is, you get these emails for, and messages from very abusive people that obviously got some serious issues in their own lives. The first thing I want to say is when somebody says, well, they're second rate, the Filipinos must be second rate to go in their country. You're looking, firstly, I'll say that mostly what you're saying is actually wrong and the fact that your view is purely based on a viewpoint that is like, well, that makes sense to me uh, because otherwise it's unfair. It's, it's because there's some very attractive women that are married to uh, foreigners. But also you have to bear in mind, it's not just that. That's very superficial. The The fact is, a lot of guys are married to intelligent women. I know some women are looking for husbands at the moment. And they're doctors, they're, um, they're all professionals. So it's not even from an academic level. They are not of a low class. Um, so that argument just doesn't work. What I do think, though, is you've got an issue with something that's happened in your life. Um, it's the same as somebody also says, oh, well, all Filipinas are prostitutes, they marry foreigners, blah, blah. No, they're not. In fact, I actually discourage anybody getting involved with girls from those professions. I have no issue with the girls doing that as their job because it's so complicated I don't really want to get into it um, because quite simply they have a lot of manipulation going on plus the reliance on the income etc so I just push that to one side but I would not recommend anybody actually marry somebody from that, that environment because they're often damaged in some way mentally physically etc because of that environment as such I can't see why anybody would marry somebody from there. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. But the whole point is, I wouldn't recommend it as a personal thing. Which sort of dis dispels that whole thing that you were talking about. Because the fact is, most of them are not. Um, most of the people I know are professionals. Most of the people that are um, married to foreigners that I know are all very good women that have all finished college education, uh, maybe even university level, and they're all good people. The fact that you say that just says there's something wrong with you, and whether you're a girlfriend or wife run off with a foreigner or something else, but even that, your anger is pushed outwards rather than going, was there something that you've done? Um, that's why I just say look at yourself before you push it outwards um, but on top of that pushing that aside most Filipinas want a better life it doesn't mean they wouldn't want it in the Philippines with a Filipino guy but often the Filipino guys they've been in relationships with are not married material I ask a lot of women the question because when they tell me, Matt, I'm looking for a foreign husband, and I ask them why, why aren't you marrying somebody local? They will tell you it's immature, immaturity, gambling, drinking, um, it's all the negative traits and they see foreigners as somebody that can offer something better. Now, people that say, oh Matt, you know, you're, you're fat, blah, 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 you're childish. Um, my weight has no issue or any bearing on this at all. Um, it just shows your immaturity because it's irrelevant. Because I am a bit overweight, so what? It shows that even in your culture that you obviously don't understand, it shows a sign of wealth in many ways. But at the same time, I can lose weight. You'll always have an attitude. Um, but it's got nothing to do with that it's got to do with the fact that foreigners can often offer security they can offer a better life they have a better income it's more to do with seeing that we often treat women better and if you can't see that then you're doing it all wrong 
because I'll be honest with you, I wasn't short of women in the UK. I was before I met my wife. I think the longest I've actually been single was two weeks. So even that, oh, you can't get a woman in your own country. After rubbish. Um, my personal choice is I'm not interested in British women. That's a personal choice. It's not that I can't find women. I've I know plenty of women that will quite happily have me as a husband. I'm a good money earner. I'm a good person. Um, but it's a personal thing. I do not have an interest. I've been down that road, given up enough wealth and um, had enough headaches with the emotional distress of separating and going through the legal system and trying to sort things out for access to my own child. So I just can't be bothered with it anymore. The women of the UK created an unequal system and they cannot sit there whining that people like myself say, keep it. I don't want you. I don't want your country. They're, I can't lay any more plain than that. It's nothing to do with I can't get. I've got no interest in. That's the difference. <laughs> um, and that's the thing. A lot of guys are like that. Even in the UK, in the social systems, you're finding less people want to get married. You're seeing a lot more guys don't want to have children because the fact is the system there is financially based. They're seeing the fact that if they have a child, they've got that payment until they're 18. They're not seeing the connection with loving their own kids. That is a system that is messed up. That's why so many guys look to Asia. Because the fact is, there's a family, family, and a family and a real equality way of life. There's a traditional way of life. Because the thing is, traditional way of life has got nothing to do with removing equality. Because the woman could work if she wanted to. She can do what she likes. Nobody's stopping the woman doing that. But often in Asian cultures, they choose to look after the kids and be at home, etc., etc. So that's my viewpoint. Personally, I think there's a lot of happy, happily married people out there because they, they met the right woman in the Philippines and the woman met the guy that is the guy they, they wanted, the guy that can actually provide, the guy that takes care of them, the guy that loves their kids, the guy that doesn't cheat, the guy that doesn't drink, the guy that actually cares about her and ask her how she's feeling, how she's doing, etc., etc. That's what matters. Thanks for watching.